Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this video we're going to look at two approaches to equus facing holes along the length of a, a part. So the first approach we're going to look at is using equations. Before we do that we'll just have a look at how the part has been constructed so far. So we have our boss extrude which is our plate cut extrude which is our hole and then that hole has been patterned. Now using the equations what I've done is I've renamed the important dimensions that I'm going to use within my equation just to make it easier to, to see what they are. So we've got the overall length of the plate, we've got the spacing from end, we've got the spacing of the holes and the instance count. So to create our equation we find the dimension that we want to create the equation with, which is going to be the spacing, and we double click it to modify it. Now we can create our, our equation directly within our modifier box. We simply type equals and then type out the equation. So the equation is the spacing at the linear pattern is equal to, open brackets, the overall length, minus, open brackets, the spacing from end times 2, close brackets, and close brackets again, divided by open brackets, the instance count minus 1, close brackets press OK then rebuild and you can see the holes equal space themselves along the length of the plate. Now if we select our plate we can change our overall length dimension and you can see the holes remain equal spaced. Similarly we can find our instance count dimension and we can increase that and you can see the holes still remain equal spaced along the length of the plate. So that's our first approach done. We'll have a look at a second, slightly easier approach. So in this example, we have our boss extrude, which is our plate, and a, a cut extrude, which is our hole. Our cut extrude is spaced 10 mil from the edge of the plate. So with this example, I'm going to use the curve-driven pattern to, to generate the same result. Uh, the curve-driven pattern is, is typically for... Uh, patterning features along uh, curves or along curved surfaces uh, but we can use it to quite good effect here also. To do this I'm going to just open up a sketch on the face of the model select my line tool and just draw a line from the center of the hole to near the end of the plate. I'm going to dimension the hole from the end of the plate at 10 mil, which is the same as what it is at the other end. Okay I'll now exit my sketch Okay, so using the curve driven pattern, the first box asks us for the sketch, and you can see that's automatically selected the sketch for us. The next box asks us for the number of instances, so I'm going to say that's going to be six, and then I'm going to turn on equal spacing. We'll then move down to features to pattern, and I'm going to select my cut extrude, which is my hole, and what that does is it equally spaces uh, six instances of the hole along the length of the sketch. So if I press OK now you can see the holes complete and if we just adjust the dimensions similar to what we did before you can see it behaves in exactly the same way. So that brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.